hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for all of you who have been enjoying my videos so far today i wanted to do something a little bit um different it's gloomy on the, on the outside and i said you know what i wanted to do something that was easy and also that was comforting i have decided that i want to make a macaroni pie so the first step in doing this is that you want to have roughly a medium pot and as you can see my water has a has already started to boil so you want to salt this a little bit not too much because remember you're going to be adding all of those cheeses and some other spices so you don't want it to be too salty okay just for taste so i have one pack of elbow macaroni right here so i'm going to go ahead and dump everything in Give it a stir so it's not sticking. Some people add uh, cooking oil or maybe butter to the macaroni while it's cooking. I don't do that, but if you wanna go ahead and do that, it's fine, all right? So I will leave it here to cook, um, say maybe for about uh, seven to 10 minutes because you don't want your macaroni elbows to be so soft, all right? so just enough because remember that you are going to be putting this in the oven also all right so stay tuned and i will show you the rest of the ingredients for my macaroni pie hi guys welcome back so while my macaroni continues to cook i'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the ingredients that I'll, i'm going to be using first I have a can of evaporated milk. I have a can of table cream. And this is an ingredient that I found lately. And I realized that when I do um, the macaroni pie, it comes out really, really creamy. So this is something that you can add if you want to, all right? But you don't have to. You're gonna be needing a little bit of butter I am going to be adding some garlic powder. I'm going to be adding some complete seasoning. I'm going to be adding some parsley flakes. I'm going to be adding some black pepper. I have here um, some bread crumbs. Any one that you have is fine. And I have an egg. And finally, I have um, cheese and I have different kind of cheese I have this creamy melt one and also I have a pack of sharp cheddar cheese and this one is some mozzarella cheese all right and I will be using a total of four cups all right I will use two cups of the um, sharp cheddar cheese and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about and also I forgot I have um, some onions here that I chopped up very very fine all right so that's what my ingredients is looking like when I come back I am going to show you how I put my macaroni pie together okay okay so now what I have done is I have gone ahead and I have a medium pot right here that I'm going to pour all of my ingredients in. So this is one can of evaporated milk. And also I'm going to be adding this can of table cream. This is what it looks like. It almost looks like condensed milk, guys. A little bit thick and it comes with just a little bit of water. Okay, I want to mix this in like this. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just mixing this. Because I want to incorporate the cream and the milk. 
all right now to this i am going to be adding just a table a teaspoon of garlic powder i have a teaspoon of parsley flakes I'm also going to be adding a teaspoon of my complete seasoning. Because you want this macaroni pie to be flavored nicely, okay? And a little bit of disclaimer here. This is not um, law what I'm doing. There are several different ways to make the macaroni pie. And another day, I'll make another one and show you how I do it different, all right? But this is how I'm doing it today. What I'm going to do now also, I wanna sprinkle some black pepper here. I like to use this black pepper. The grains are so small when you grind it, you can barely see and it honestly is not spicy at all so just a little bit now for my cheese and also this is gonna be something of your choice all right so for my creamy milk this is about one cup i'm just gonna dump it in For my cheddar, I want to go ahead, my sharp cheddar, I'm going to go ahead and dump one cup in also. Just like that. And I have my mozzarella. I'm gonna go ahead and dump about a cup in also. Just like that. nice and creamy and cheesy, of course. If you have a little bit of lumps in there, it's fine everything is going to be melted when you do your um when you put it in the oven anyways all right now i have an egg and this is going to be helping with the bind binding um component in this macaroni pie all right and some people will go ahead and use more than one one egg for this um, one pack of macaroni but the secret to this is or, or the alternative is to use breadcrumbs because sometimes when I'm doing the macaroni pie I don't use egg at all I just use breadcrumbs all right so I'm just um, beating this egg I'm gonna be dumping it here mix mix like so and also to help combine all of the ingredients together so that my macaroni pie is not falling apart when I try to cut it that's where I'm going to add my breadcrumbs and honestly about half a cup to this one box of macar macaroni is fine look at that right just like that just like that guys just mix all of these ingredients together so guys I am going to be adding my onion to the mix also and what I did I wanted to go ahead and add some more cream 
some more evaporated milk here so um so this is just about two cans of evaporated milk that i have here all right you can go ahead at this point and give it a taste test to see if you want to add anything else all right another small spoon very very nice creamy and nice and that's it guys so I am going to check on my macaroni if it is cooked to how I want it I am going to show you what I do next to put my pie together welcome back guys so what I did the mixture that that I had I to rest it on the stove here on medium heat and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my cooked macaroni to this pot right here right a little at a time because you do not want your eggs to be scrambled all right look at that looking so creamy so I'm going to continue to do this until all of my macaroni is added take your time and mix this in this is going to be one of the creamiest macaroni and cheese cheese pie you have ever made okay this is what you want just continue to stir it dump all of the rest of my macaroni in look at that mozzarella cheese look at that look at that guys I think if you're gonna make this macaroni and cheese pie don't shortchange it okay sorry about that don't short change it all right just do it right nice creamy and cheesy as i said if you do not want to add eggs you can go ahead and you can you can add use your breadcrumbs as a matter of fact let me add a little bit more of this breadcrumbs here just to ensure that it's nice and thick when it's ready to get cut right so don't be shy with the breadcrumbs this is panko breadcrumbs which is unseasoned by the way all right so right now guys as you can see i don't need to add any more cream i honestly don't need to add any more breadcrumbs this is nice and thick and I have my stove on 370, right? So depending on the kind of oven you have, you can decide, all right? Let me go ahead and give this another taste. Very, very creamy, cheesy, and nice, okay? Okay guys, so the final step in making this macaroni pie, you want to have a nice size baking dish depending on how much macaroni you are going to be baking. So because it's not so much of a big one, I'm going to be using a little over a medium baking dish, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little bit of butter like so, just a little bit and grease. Um, the pan because I don't really want it to stick so just a tad bit okay just like that my oven is ready so what I'm going to be doing now I, I am going to be taking my macaroni that is all mixed together and I am going to be dumping it in my baking dish right here okay Just like that. The 
look at this right now when you look at this you know this can be eaten just like that because my macaroni is cooked all the way through all the way through guys so you don't have to ask if this is yummy okay look at that i'm gonna be filling it all the way up and i think this was the perfect size for this amount of macaroni that's it all right so now i have a little bit of paprika that i'm going to be covering my pie with just like so and for the fun part because you want that nice crust on the top you're going to be adding a little bit more cheese and I like to use the cheddar cheese just because it crusts a little bit um, it's crust is a little bit more crunchy and it stands up to the heat a little bit more is it guys that is it that is it let me give you a closer look of what we have going on here right creamy and cheesy creamy and cheesy macaroni pie okay so guys, you can go ahead and if you were timid before about how to bake a macaroni pie, this is a very, very easy recipe. As I said, some of the ingredients like the, um, the cream, if you don't have it, you can definitely go ahead and eliminate it, all right? But um, whatever you have, whatever cheese you have, you can go ahead, right? And you can alter this recipe as best as you want. So once again, guys, thank you, thank you so much. To all of my subscribers so far, thank you for sharing, thank you for watching, thank you for liking my videos, guys. So, until the next time, on a walk good and big up on yourself. All right? Bye bye. So, guys, this is just a quick check back to let you see what my macaroni pie is looking like. Um, it was in the oven for 40 minutes, um, 375 degrees. All right, so that's 40 minutes for three seven at 375 degrees. And at this moment, I'm not going to cut it because I want it to sit. Because if you cut it when it's hot, it's just going to break. So you want it to at least sit for maybe 15 to you know 30 minutes or so and just let it relax and do its thing. All right, bye bye, guys.